What's going on, people? Good morning, man. I hope everyone's having a great morning so far. It's time to get the shop open. Let's do this. All right, boys. Well, didn't get to record any of the haircuts, man. It's the end of the day. We're going home. I'm freaking tired. It's been a long day. We were slow during the, till like two o'clock, and then everybody started coming in. I did uh, three and a shave, so better than nothing, you know? But anyways, I'll catch you guys at the house. Might even be uh, stopping by my dad's. We'll we'll see what happens. I'm gonna call him when I get in the car, so y'all will get to meet him maybe. I'll see y'all there. All right, boys. It's time. You ready for a baby? I'm ready for a baby. I'm not ready. To push yeah you'll be fine you made it through the first one mm -hmm. you'll be good to go off to the hospital so we just called she had to wake up at 5 30 this morning and uh, call the hospital and see if they had room really really Which so they didn't. yeah so they didn't have room so then they were like, we'll just call back at nine o'clock and um, we'll let you know something then. We call at nine and they're like, yeah, we still just don't have room. I'm gonna tell you to call back at 12 and hopefully, hopefully we'll have something for you then. I'm thinking to myself, you better have something then because <laughs> you don't want me up there causing a scene because I will cause a scene, but Anyway, so we're on the way right now. They ended up calling back like 10 minutes later and we're like... They probably heard the irritation in my voice when she told me to call back. At yeah, 12. it was ridiculous. Um, so we're on the way up there right now. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're here. We're at the hospital. This is it. You nervous? Oh, don't mind that car. <laughs> I am nervous is not the word. What is the word? I don't know, but it's not nervous. What's like a level above nervous? Uh. Anxiety ridden? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me right now. Exclaimed. Uh. Exuberant. I don't know. Put the word in the comments below. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Anxious is definitely one. Yes. But we'll see you guys whenever we get to the room. We're walking in right now. And uh, we're going to get this process started, man. All right, boys. We here. We in the hospital. How you feeling? Okay, I suppose. She's feeling pretty normal right now. Pretty normal. I haven't gotten any medicine yet or anything. She was getting ready to... Oh. Yeah, right. She's getting ready to FaceTime um, one of her best friends. She's her two best friends in the whole world got together and had a baby. She's a, she's a good friend of my wife's. She used to work with her boyfriend and her at uh, this bagel place near us. Anyways, so let me let me show y'all around, let you know what's going on. First off, when we had our first baby, we didn't have no Amazon Alexa or Echo. Somebody donated Amazon Echoes to the rooms. That's so cool. 
so we keep getting interrupted but yeah let me show you guys the hospital room like i said they have the uh the amazon echoes that got donated which is super cool you got a pull out couch over here and uh that's where i'll be sleeping and then they have a chair right beside the bed it's it's like a recliner a little table then in here you got the shower Dirty clothes, hamper, mirror, sink, which for some reason, I don't know why, but I just washed my hands a minute ago. And this sink don't want to drain right. So that could be a problem. Um, toilet. Also, I don't know what this little arm thing is on the toilet, but I'm very interested to ask. Say hey. Okay, just chill so, That's right. So the doctor, the doctor came in and talked to us. And basically, um, she gave us two options. We chose option number one, uh, which is pretty much just take Pitocin. They're going to give her some Pitocin and see if labor will start on its own, which she's already having contractions. So these white lines, when they spike up, look, she's having one right now. But anyways, these white lines, when they spike up, that's a contraction. And right now they're about one, two, wait. That one was at 1239. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they're about six minutes apart. Uh, when we first got here, they were like eight minutes apart. So, and she hasn't had any Pitocin yet. So, could be a quick labor. That'd be great. Or maybe the baby just knows that we're at the hospital and she's trying to help. Hello. Hello. I miss you so much. Say, say hello to the what up? the vlog and to Trey Trey. What's up, vlog? What up? What's up? My queen. Look there. What's up, buddy? my baby. Hi, Alish. Hi, my love. What are you doing? Oh, look. Um, but they're coming in, so let me uh, call you back later. But I love you. Love y'all. And I'll talk to you. Well, thank you. Love you guys. Bye. All right, boys. Just a quick update. We got to the hospital around like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Uh, the doctor started her on Pitocin around like, I guess it was like 1, 30 or 2. Uh, I it was at 12. Oh. Uh, I think we got here at like right before 11. We got here at 11? Yeah, I want to say it was like right before 11. And then they had to ask all those questions and stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then You're I right. want to say it was like 12 that they officially started, started. putting the potassium yeah. in. And then she was having contractions on her own, which was a good sign. She just didn't even know that. She was having contractions when we came in. And uh, they gave her her epidural because her contractions got a little bit more strong. They gave that to her around, I guess it was probably like 5.30-ish. And um, literally within an hour of her getting her epidural, her water broke on its own. Nobody had to break it for her. Uh, with her first pregnancy, that did not happen. They had to manually break her water. She wasn't having contractions when she came in. So this time, her body, I think her body knows what it's doing. I think her body is getting into labor delivery mode. Um, like I said, that was around like 530 and she was around four centimeters to five centimeters dilated and then the nurse just came in or the doctor just came in about 
close to like seven o'clock, it's 8.45, and checked her and she was like seven centimeters dilated. So everything is moving along good here. Our contractions are getting uh, stronger and stronger and she's starting to feel them a little bit. So the nurse just came in to uh, give her some extra epidural medication and she thinks that pretty soon we're gonna be having a baby. If I had to guess with the way it's going and looking at her charts, which I can't show you now, but I will try to show you her charts uh, whenever they get brought back on the computer. Uh, I think we're gonna have a baby today. I think that before 12 o'clock that baby is gonna be here. I could be wrong, but we'll see what's what's going on. Let's check with mama. How you feeling? I felt better. Any more babies in the future? No comment. I said last time that I wasn't gonna have another one unless you could pop it out. <laughs> here I am. So I guess what I say in this moment doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's right. Well, we're, maybe. Well, maybe. Good. Good. Well, we'll see how this goes. You're a trooper. I'm I just trying. want you to know that. Thanks, Bim. You are fantastic, and this baby is going to come out just fine. And soon we're going to be double parents. Double parents. All right, boys. We'll we'll check back here in a little bit if I get some time. I just want to kind of let her rest if uh, if she can. And we'll check back in and let you know what's going on. Wish us. Friday and the last time I filmed was Saturday the 12th which was the day that we all went into the hospital for Stephanie to be induced uh, we went in at like 9 o'clock in the morning and um, I started filming and I filmed as much as I could with what was going on Stephanie um, she started off okay as far as being induced and then, you know, the pain obviously got more intense and more intense and more intense. As the night progressed on, um, she was like 8 centimeters dilated at around 10.30 and uh, we all went to sleep. Me and Stephanie went to sleep. And then the next thing I knew, I was being woke up at like one, one one on the dot which was Sunday the 13th um, I was woken up by our nurse at the time and Stephanie saying that it was time to push that she was 10 centimeters dilated so I sprung up out of bed I was like oh my god oh my god like her legs were already in the stirrups it was time to push so <clears throat> so I'm talking her through it you know people are starting to fill the room and um, she started pushing at like 103 uh, the doctors in there and I'm just focused on Stephanie and keeping her breathing strong through the pushes because she is I can tell that she wants to get the baby out and at the same time through progressively through her pushes I hear whispers of the doctor saying that the baby's head is getting a little squished. So we need to try and hurry up and get the baby out. Um, but I wasn't worried about that at the time. If they were worried, they would have done something. And they pretty much just were talking amongst themselves. So 
Okay. I was just focused on Stephanie and keeping her breathing good. And uh, like I said, she started pushing at 103, and by 114, we had a baby. Or no, it was. It was 124, so I started pushing at 110. 110. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. She started pushing at 110. And we had a baby at 124, so literally 14 minutes is all it took. And I meet my daughter for the first time, and Mama is just as happy and healthy as can be, and Baby is just as happy and healthy as can be, and everything went fantastic. She weighed 8 pounds, 14 ounces, which is coincidentally exactly what I weighed. But um, yeah, just as healthy as a horse. So, uh, that night passes, pretty much we're just feeding the baby, getting to know the baby, um, just making sure mama is okay, slow recovery process, and uh, by the next day, we leave the hospital, and we bring the baby home, and I believe that was Tuesday that we came home, and ever since then, it's just been feed, sleep. Feed, sleep, feed, sleep. Pretty much for like a consistent two hour time frame. Feed the baby, go to sleep, wake up, do it again. Every two hours it's the same thing. So I haven't had a chance to catch you guys up, film anything, um, and I apologize for that. Uh, I wish I could have caught more of the experience, but it was a lot. Uh, a lot more than I anticipated it being to try and film and uh, take care of Stephanie and the baby. So this is going to be the end of that vlog and uh, I hope you guys can forgive me for not being able to include more of the hospital visit. Oh, I've almost forgot to say her name. Her name is Sailor Rain McDowell. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here and... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, man, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss any new content or any updates about what we got going on over here. So anyways, we're going to end the vlog here. You want to say hey, Sailor? Say hello. Say hello, everyone. Oh, hello. Oh, you got gas. <laughs> I think somebody's hungry. Anyways, hungry. we're going to end the vlog here. I'm glad that uh, everything went like it did at the hospital. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Say bye, baby. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow whenever we go pick Sky up. Peace out.